Hello everyone, welcome to my channel where I talk about personal finance. Today I'm going to talk about seven places your money needs to automatically. Before I get into the video, be sure to subscribe and leave a comment below saying I subscribe. I will try to personally reply to your comments. If you want to generate wealth, there are some methods you can follow to help you reach this goal. Today, I'm going to talk about some methods that can help you generate wealth in the long run. The first method is fund a retirement plan. The first thing you should do when you receive your paycheck is put some of it away for yourself. Make a dollar, set some money aside. It's easier said than done. But the more you learn to save early on, the easier it will be to take care of your money later in life. The simplest way to do this is to set up an automatic deposit of part of your paycheck into a 401k, 403b, or IRA. Ideally, aim to save a minimum of 5% of your income in a retirement plan and work your way up to 10 to 15 percent in any case start small and gradually get to where you need to be even if the best you can do is save one or two percent do not let that stop you from being more financially secure it often the case that we think we won't need as much as we really will need. Anything is better than nothing, but do try to be ambitious and save higher monks than you think. If you think 4% will do the trick, then at least aim for 6%. If you are aiming for 10%, consider saving 12% instead. If your company offers a 401k plan, enroll as soon as possible. This will automatically reduce your current earnings by a predetermined amount, but it is the simplest way to give yourself a retirement account that you won't have to worry about. Certain companies offer a matching program to incentivize you to save up for retirement as well as other aspects of your finances. This essentially means you are getting free money. For example, in 2021, you can contribute 19,500 through employer-sponsored 401k accounts. One option you might want to consider if your company does not offer an employee-sponsored 401k is opening a traditional IRA or a rough IRA. For 2021, contributions are capped at 6,000. Here are three things to know about these accounts. You can contribute to your SEP IRA up to 57,000 each year. The contributions can be based on your income up to 25% of your gross annual income. The second place your money needs to go automatically is send the rest of your paycheck straight to your checking account. Did you know that with direct deposit, your paycheck automatically lands in your account? This makes life easier as you do not need to deposit a physical check. Now that you are saving for your retirement first and not spending any other money, it's time to automate everything else. The third place your money needs to go automatically is fund your emergency account. Having extra money set aside can make a wide range of possible issues much less stressful. Having three months worth of expenses saved up should be enough to give you some breathing room in case you lose your job or incur high-cost medical bills. 
determine how much you spend monthly and multiply that amount by three. Find ways to save the same amount every month. As a general rule, it's important to save at least 25% of your income for a rainy day. This will depend on what's going on in the world and how much risk you think you need to take. You may be thinking to yourself right now, but it's important to evaluate where you are at and think about how much money you want in savings to feel safe, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic. Separate this money into separate accounts that you only use if there is an emergency. Make sure not to touch it otherwise. You should keep it in a high heel saving account where you can have quick access to it while earning more interest than it were just sitting in a traditional saving account. Comparing interest rates can be difficult, but you can still find some saving accounts with better rates than the national average at 0.05% as of October, this is quite low. One of the best ways to grow your fund is to automate your savings. Set up a recurring deposit from your checking account into a separate emergency account. Try to make an effort to save around 5% of your monthly salary into your emergency fund. The fourth place your money needs to go is pay your credit card minimums at least automatically. So that's the fourth place you want to put your money, which is pay your credit card minimums automatically. Set up automatic payments for at least the minimum amount due if you use credit cards. You will never be late again. Just in case, make your payments five days before the due date. Every month when you get your bill, paying at least the minimum balance is necessary to avoid interest charges. However, if you want to avoid penalties like late fees, it's also important to pay in full. The fifth place your money needs to go automatically is to pay your regular bills automatically. You can also put an auto pay on all your recurring payments like rent, mortgage, car payments, phone bill, and utilities. This guarantees you will never miss a payment. The sixth place your money needs to go automatically is creating a brokerage account. A brokerage account is an account that you can open at a brokerage firm where you can buy stocks, bonds, and other financial assets. The firm will charge a fee for maintaining the account. Investors who are inexperienced in the investing world often open brokerage accounts because they are easy to use and cheaper than other types of investment accounts. There are two types of brokerage accounts available depending on the need of the investor. There is a lot of benefits of opening a brokerage account because you can use it to generate wealth. Also, there is no income limit required to open a brokerage account. For example, if you make 250,000 per year or 30,000 per year, you can still invest in a brokerage account. On the other hand, there are no contribution limits compared to retirement accounts. So if you want to contribute $60,000 per year in your brokerage account, you can do it without any problems. Furthermore, there are no penalties for early withdrawal from a brokerage account. 
the seventh place your money needs to go automatically is a separate checking account with four to eight months of payroll. You want to save up at least four to eight months of your paycheck in a saving account. So if you lose your job for any reason, you will have money set aside to cover your bills without feeling stressed out. Also, if you are a business owner, you will want to put four to eight months of your business payroll aside into this account to cover payroll expenses in case there is a downturn in the economy and you are not able to meet payroll. Therefore, you can tap into this account to cover the payroll expenses of your company. Thanks for watching this video and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.